Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys Ride. Today, Rob and I are out here at Chanhassen and we're here for three special reasons. Well, one is for Cody, because he's just an awesome guy, but the other reason is Cody brought two cars. Cody, what do we have sitting behind us? So on my left, your right, is my 1979 Chevy Camaro Z28. Okay, and what's this one? And then this one's a 1980 Chevy Camaro Z28. Okay, well let's start with the 79 one. If you wanna come over here, I think we're gonna yep. start with the, this kind of the front end. Yep. All right, so the Black Beauty here. Yep. 1979, so this was the year before they made some minor changes on the Z28, which we'll see on the 1980 version. Yep. All right, so, but there is a great story behind this. Yeah. So, I mean, how did you get in possession of this car? Yeah, so this car, my grandpa bought in 1983 um, oh, down in Oklahoma. Okay. And my dad's parents and him moved up here, I think it was 84. Okay. Um, into Eden Prairie, my dad went to EP High School then. And so they had this car and then another 79 Camaro that was actually light blue like that um, and, a, and a stick shift, but that okay. one was given to another member of our family. So okay. we've got this one. It used to be white with light blue on the inside. Um, my parents drove it, uh, I think when they first got married for a couple okay. years. And so they remember driving around in it and then okay. it sat. Um, the last tag on the plate was 99. Okay. Um, and we think that's about when it got parked. Okay. So then when did it, the title transfer into your hands? Yeah, so in 2015, uh, after my junior year of high school, the guy that my grandpa was storing it with, his kid was graduating, they were gonna have a grad party, and he was like, you gotta get this out of the garage. I'm done okay. storing it, yep. you gotta do something with it. And so my grandma's like, all right, cars for kids, come pick it up. And I was like, come on. Grandpa, can we at least try and get it going and then you can get rid of it. I just want to try and get it going. Like this thing okay. is sweet. It's an old car. I've looked at it every time we've gone to the garage to pick up the camper, you know. <laughs> so we towed it home on a trailer, pulled it in the garage and went to work. Um, my grandpa taught me how to take spark plugs out and fill the cylinders with oil and we... Okay left oil in them for like two weeks, trying to make sure there wasn't any rust or anything in there. Um, and then ripped the fuel pump and fuel lines off, uh, checked for compression. After we got all the oil out of the cylinder, checked for compression, and then put spark plugs back in, poured a little gas in, and it fired right up. Oh, oh boy. Yep. After sitting for that long. Yep. Now, um, so this is all taking place while you're in high school. Yep. Okay, so then you decide, so then your grandpa gives you the title. Yes, so in high school, my senior year on my birthday, which is in September, I drove it to school for the first time. Okay. Um, we had redone the inside first, because I didn't like how it smelled like mothballs. Uh -huh. So we ripped, we ripped the inside out, there's a couple rust holes on the floor pan and stuff like that that we fixed, and then I designed these seat covers, because I want a little orange accent, orange was my favorite color, so designed these seat covers and had a guy in Chanhassen make them for us. Okay, so they're custom made. Yep, custom made on the factory seat foam frames okay. and stuff like that, so. I, I, I love how they, they say uh, Z28 on yeah. the headrest. Yeah, so we got that embroidered so that it matched the, the logo that's on the wheels and on the front too. Okay, so it, now this car was originally white. Yep. I think we mentioned that before, yep. but it was originally white. And so at some point you must have had somebody paint it or you paint it yourself? Yeah, so I did not paint this myself. I learned how to do body work. My dad tried to teach me how to do body work. He's not a body man, he's an okay. electrical engineer. So um, learned how to do some body work and straighten some things out. We had to put new fenders on it, new front bumper, a um, couple rust holes in the, the quarter panels. So we did a little quick fist fix with some fiberglass. Um, we didn't have a welder, so we didn't. Right. We weren't able to weld in some stuff. So, learned how to do body work, and then uh, my grandpa had a buddy uh, that painted it. So okay. he just did a quick spray. Didn't touch any of our body work. He just sprayed it how it rolled in. So okay. that's that's what we got. That's what you got. Oh. Yep. You know, I I, I got to tell you, it, it, that is a great story. I mean, so your grandpa bought the car only a few years old, and here, all these years later, 
I mean, it's been through your parents, yep. and then it's yours. Yep. Man, and you spent some time wrenching on this with your grandpa and your father. Yep, yep. So it took us um, about three years. Okay. From the time we, we towed it home um, to when we dropped the new engine in. Okay. And then called it done. All right, so let's let's come over on this side for a minute. The, the headlights are an aftermarket. Yep. Okay, so with all the little dots we see in the front around the rim, yep. what are those? It's got a halo, so I've got a little remote in there that I can pick whatever color I want. So okay. if, if I roll into a car show, I mean, I can only drive down the road with them white or off. Right. Um, but if I roll into a car show, I usually turn them on and make them orange. So j okay. just a little extra. Just a little flare. extra. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Uh, now the turn signals, those that's what would have come with it? Yep. So I put LED bulbs in everything just to right. make everything a little brighter, but... Those are the factory turn signals, okay. housings, and stuff like that. All right. Now, rims. Yep. Original? These are the original turbine rims from 79. So Were they were they painted black, or did you do that? They were not. So they were a gray, Okay. Um, which on the white car didn't look too bad. Right. Um, and we needed to get them redone regardless. They were a little corroded, needed some work done. Um, so I decided when we got them redone, I wanted to have them black to match, make, make the outside pop a little more and kind of hide some of the brake dust when you get going. Yep. So did you paint them? I did not. No. Um, there's a wheel guy up in White Bear Lake. Okay. That you took it to. Yep. And so he did the wheels on this one and my other one. All right. Now the side vents, mm -hmm. this is one of the things we'll see a change in, uh, on, yep. on the 1980, but here they have actually will look more like fins. Yep. Uh, but they're functional. They are functional and they really crank out the heat. The the hood scoop on the top, is that a functional hood scoop? It's not functional, no. Um, but it was, you had, you had, well, you have an air induction one on the 80s. So, yes. Okay. Yep, so this one's just a plop on bolt through the hood, no air goes through it. But it was on the car when you bought it. That is the Z28, so the Z28 options were hood scoop, fender louvers, and then this front chin spoiler, okay. and then the rear spoiler. Those were the those are the options, options you could have. <laughs> yeah, there weren't a lot of options back then. No. Were there? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, walk back to the uh, to the back here. Okay, so um, exhaust system. Did you you've obviously done some. Uh, well, not modifying on it, but you've done you've put some extra exhaust under your. Yes. So funny story about that. In high school, I drove it for a couple days uh, my senior year one of which was to the casino with some buddies. Okay. So we took it down to Mystic Lake, and on the way back home, I was, like, trying to drive on the highway, and the thing was dying. So I pull over, take the next day to pull over, and it's smoking from under the driver's seat. <laughs> That's never good. And I'm like, what is going on? I call my dad. He's like, I think it has a catalytic converter. Why don't you see if that's what's smoking? So we go under there, and it's smoking out the cat. Oh, no. So... I had to limp home probably a 10 miles yep. going 10 miles an hour, you know, taking the back roads. Yeah, so it doesn't heat up too much. Yep, and so that was like, all right, done with the cat. So it has um, the factory exhaust manifolds on the okay. block. And so we got the factory Y pipe, got rid of the cat, yep. and then uh, dual exhaust. So it goes down to one and then separates, comes back the out. Well, it sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, so now... Uh, your fuel tank cover would have been under here. Yep, so the gas tank's right in the middle. So if there's a long line on the driver's side pump, no problem, just go on the passenger side because you're in the middle. You're right in the middle. Get it from either side. Yep. Let's talk about the, because uh, you replaced the engine uh, and the transmission. Uh, the transmission on this was rebuilt and we put a new engine in it. Okay, so what engine did it come with? It was came with a small block Chevy 350. 350, okay. Yep. And what did you put back in it? So it's got a 350 Gen 2 small block. So okay. the, the 90s yep. with the Before Vortec have... heads. Okay. Does it have a little more horsepower then? Yes. So <laughs> it's got about 330 horse. Okay. Um, I mean, you can spin the tires if you want. Right. Yep. And originally it would have had probably a closer to 200. I think it was 185 or 190, okay. depending yep. on if you had the automatic or the manual. And then when you had that out, you did paint inside. Yep. I mean, everything looks so nice in there. Yep, painted the engine bay and then put a couple of powder-coated orange uh, accessories on okay. it. Brake booster, master cylinder, all that kind of stuff. It's amazing that you can do all that. Mm -hmm. That That's a talent not everybody has. Oh, man. Ow. 
on the interior, you, you ordered the, the custom cover for the seats, but did you fit them yourself? No, I did not. So that's uh, one thing I eventually learned how to do on my second project. Um, but that was completely foreign to me on how to do it. Okay. My dad didn't know how to do it. He didn't do that on his. So, so for this um, car, you had someone do that. Yep, he did it. Uh, we did not splurge on getting new foam, which I regret because the, they bought him out a little bit. Okay. Um, but it's a factory original foam. Um, I redid the frames. They had a little scale rust on them, so I ground them down and then gave them back to the guy. Okay, and you replaced the, do you replace the headliner? Yep, so everything in here is either replaced or dyed. So okay. center console and the dash pad are original. I just really? dyed them. They're not cracked. Nope. So I know, amazing, probably because it, it, it sat inside for 20 years and didn't Man. crack. Yep, and so that those are original. Everything else uh, is replacement most of the back plastic stuff uh yeah. just turned to powder okay so there's nothing we could do there tell us about you know i, I love the orange theme mm -hmm. it looks fantastic there's the black so up on the dash you have got all sorts of orange that you is this like an aftermarket product you can order yeah so you'll see on the 80 the bezel originally was on this one was brown okay so where where there's orange on the around the gauges like the stuff. fake wood brown or yeah just a, kind of okay. an aluminum brown color okay, okay. And I found a guy on, I think it was eBay, that laser cut oh, decals, nice. whatever Pretty, color you okay. wanted. So uh, they're just stickers. I just- Right, you put them on there. Put them on there. But that, I mean, it looks fantastic. Yeah. It really, you know, I, it's your car, right? You, it's like a piece of art. You're, yep. gonna, you're gonna keep it original, but you're gonna change a few things, you know, to, to suit yourself. That is just amazing. I love the Camaro in the, uh, not only in the um, floor mats, but you got the Z28 on, on the sun visors. On the sun yep. visors too. Yep. How so did you do that? The guy we had do the seats also redid the sun visors. Oh, okay. And so he didn't do any of the embroidery. We had to find an embroidery shop um, and then get them the logo. They embroidered them for us. Okay. Now the transmission is this is a what? It's a TH350. Okay. Three, three speed. Three speed. Yep. All right. And of course, automatic. Yep. You've got an old fashioned looking modern stereo. Yep. So that is that like a. Um... It's from Retro Sound. So there they, you go. they make ones that'll fit your dash and dash, yep. just a little adjustment and it's got Bluetooth. It'll get the radio station, right, which is nice. Yeah, that is sweet. But that's where the radio would have gone. Yep. And so I still have the factory cassette radio that was in okay. here and I may one day redo that and get some cassettes okay. um, to put in there. But for now, I like having Bluetooth. All right. And it was actually a cassette player or an eight track player for cassette this one. Cassette on this one. This one was a cassette. Yep. And okay, this is going to be Folks, when you watch both videos, that's going to be an interesting little yep. detail because the other one's got something different, but yep. which is very interesting. Okay, um, aftermarket steering wheel. Yes. So that was kind of what we based the whole interior off of was I found that steering wheel. It's got the two little orange stripes on the top. Yep. And so we took that to the interior guy, and he got us a close match with the orange vinyl color. Okay. Now, with the Z28 on the door cards. Yep. Was that originally no, there? That's no, that's just that you, a little extra added. flare that okay. I added. Yep. All right. So did this have air, this had air conditioning? This had air conditioning. It was not working when we started working on it and it was very hard to find parts for. So did you, did you get it working or have no, you left it? Okay. We ripped it out, um, put a cover plate on it. And so the heat works yeah. and the fresh air works, but, but not the no air conditioning. Air. Okay. When you turn the key back, there was a little lock. Mm -hmm. And it's, I believe it's the push button underneath your, is that what? So the push button underneath the lock is the hazards. That's the hazards. Yep. And so while we're you talking just, about hazards, yeah. I'll show you one cool thing that this one has. Is I put sequential oh, turn oh, signals sweet. on the back. I love it. That is awesome. Yep. Yeah. So a little bit kind of like the Mustangs with the sequentials. There's a company that made the LED boards um, that you could just drop right in there. Wow. That is cool. I love it. All right. Well, you know, Cody, thank you so much for spending your time and, and bringing your uh, 79 Camaro for us to talk about and film. We sure appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Thanks so much for having me. Now, don't go away yet, folks, because we have another video on Cody's 1980 Z28. Hey, that's this one right here. So look for it in the list above and go watch that one. Thanks again, Cody. Thanks.
Thanks for watching.